This video covers the Siege of Boston and four critical battles that took place in 1776 during the American Revolution. The Siege of Boston was a critical conflict early in the War of Independence between 1775 and 1776. Tensions and hostilities have been rising for several years between the colonists and redcoats. After the battles of Lexington and Concord in 1775 and Bunker Hill in June 1776, the redcoats faced over 20,000 armed colonists in and around Boston. George Washington, the new leader of the Continental Army, decided to surround the British troops on the hills of Boston. However, the colonists severely lacked the necessary artillery. So Washington sent Henry Knox to Fort Ticonderoga in the winter. Knox trekked 300 miles to the fort to take nearly 60 cannons and mortars back to Boston. In January 1776, Washington's men took up positions at Dorchester Heights. In March, they bombarded the Redcoats for two days until General William Howe realized they couldn't defend against the Continental Army's elevated positions. The eight-year British occupation of Boston ended on March 17th when the British troops evacuated Boston and sailed to Nova Scotia. The Battle of Sullivan's Island near Charleston was one of the first American victories in the War for Independence. After the British evacuated Boston in March 1776, British General William Howe dispatched General Henry Clinton to the southern colonies to secure a stronghold in the region and garner loyalist backing. Clinton first targeted Cape Fear, but the plan fell apart, so his fleet next targeted the major seaport of Charleston where the American forces were preparing for the impending attack. On June 28th, a British fleet led by Commodore Peter Parker and General Henry Clinton launched an attack on Fort Sullivan. American forces, led by General William Moultrie, repelled the British attack because of the fort's soft palmetto wood, which was resilient to cannon fire, even after many hours of bombardment. The British suffered heavy casualties, with 220 killed and wounded, while American losses were 40. The fort was renamed Fort Moultrie. The British failure to take this major seaport focused the war on the north for the next several years until 1780 when Charleston was captured. The Battle of Long Island, also known as the Battle of Brooklyn, was fought on August 27, 1776 and was the largest battle of the American Revolutionary War. It was part of a British campaign to seize control of New York and isolate New York from the rest of the colonies. The Redcoats, with over 32,000 troops under General William Howe, outnumbered George Washington's forces of approximately 18,000 soldiers. The British initially landed on Staten Island in July and on August 22nd, landed on Long Island. On August 27th, General Howe attacked and quickly surrounded my troops in Brooklyn Heights. General Howe continued to outflank the Patriots, and after several days of fighting, he successfully captured around 1,400 American troops, although a regiment of 400 Maryland militiamen continued to resist and prevented a complete defeat for Washington. On August 29, Washington, realizing his troops were defeated, wisely evacuated his troops to Manhattan. The British captured New York City in September and held it until the war's end. The Battle of Fort Washington was fought on November 16, 1776 during the American Revolutionary War. Fort Washington, located on Manhattan Island, was defended by a force of about 3,000 American soldiers under the command of Colonel Robert McGow. The attacking British force included 5,000 troops led by General William Howe and 3,000 Hessian mercenaries led by General Wilhelm von Niffhausen. The British began attacking the fort at dawn on November 16th. Although the Americans showed some success in the beginning, the British finally succeeded in breaching the walls of the fort, taking it over later in the day. Colonel McGaw was forced to surrender. Both sides suffered heavy casualties, with almost 60 Americans and over 80 Redcoats killed. The British victory also resulted in the capture of more than 2,800 American soldiers. These prisoners of war were held on British ships, where most died. The Battle of Fort Washington was a significant victory for the British and helped to secure their control over New York City. The Battle of Trenton was pivotal in the American Revolutionary War. It was fought on December 26, 1776, near Trenton, New Jersey. The battle was fought between American forces under General George Washington and mostly Hessian mercenaries under British Colonel Rawl. In the months leading up to the battle, the Continental Army suffered a series of defeats, particularly in New York. On the night of December 25th, Washington led a daring crossing of the icy Delaware River, surprising the Hessians who were celebrating Christmas. The attack began before dawn on December 26th, and despite being outnumbered and outgunned, the American forces were able to overwhelm the Hessian defenders, capturing nearly 1,000 of them. The victory at Trenton proved to be a turning point in the Revolutionary War, as it provided a much-needed boost to American morale and helped to boost re-enlistment. Following the Battle of Trenton, Washington and his troops continued their campaign, attacking the British forces at the Battle of Princeton a few days later on January 3rd.